welcome back to our channel. We are going to Ikea. This video will be our dining room transformation, trying to decorate it, trying to make it look like a little something, something. So let's go to Ikea, see what they have. I really want to get some frames and yeah, let's go. Talking about. Well, we could take it down. So, hear me out, guys. We're not getting this now, but I want something like this across the wall behind the dining table. Like, just nice wall units to put like nice dishes and little cute things. Maybe not necessarily this one, but I think it's really nice. If I, but the only thing is that obviously it's like pretty expensive but I would want it like all across the wall so like we will probably need about like three or four of them so it could be nice but this is that's something down the line I thought you'd take up too much space he thinks he'll take up too much space and then we have that molding like that border thing in the in our dining room but I think we just take it that take it out we seem we, we watch HGTV oh, yeah. we know how to, we know how to rip stuff apart <laughs> And then so it could be more flush to the wall, but there's another place. This this is just one section. I'm gonna show a better one. I wish we could have that in our um, fireplace. That's something down the line. I like this mirror. See, like we didn't even get some like bookcases. That could be for the <laughs> living room. For what? To do cute stuff like this. Throw fake books on. <laughs> what do you think about this for the dining room? Like put this on one wall uh -huh. and have like all of our like wine bottles. This is cool. Can you take or you just slide it? Oh. And they put their own strips. I don't think this comes with it. How much is this? Is this it? No, that's light. Four bottle wine racks. So There's only four, so they put it together. Mm. Oh dang. You hit me. Oh, that's cool. I like that idea. Eleven ninety nine. Just put another top on top. That's nice. I like the whole vibe in this showroom area. Like the blush pink and the uh, mint green looking. See, another bookshelf. See, this will be perfect in the um, dining room. So this is this is the exact thing that we have in the mudroom. This is the mudroom bench. It's actually a TV stand. And it matches perfectly with this. It's the same name, Hemnes. Same color. So if we like, it's right across from each other. This would be so nice in the dining room. Damn, really? That's even so close. It's not so close. <laughs> gonna break it. Do you see the vision? What? No, not a bookcase. What about that? Oh yeah, it's cheaper, but the glass is what makes it more dining room-ish. I want to put books, I would put like dishes. Mm -hmm. And then, what is what is this? Oh no, that's TV combo. So this is 400. And we need like, if we measure it, see how many we need. We'll probably need like three of these. I just don't know. And it comes with drawers, you can put storage, you can put like Kenzie's and Cruz's artwork in here. I like it. To make it look fuller, it's so white and bland in there. I'm trying to record it so I know what. What is it? I took a picture. Here are other options. This is called Billy. These are bookcases, not the blue. I don't know what other colors it comes in. Goodness. I don't think I want. I really like the other one. See, here it is again in white. The Hemnes is so nice. Ooh. Darius is not sold. Ooh. Here is my here's my vision, guys. This is a whole dining room. See how they have this? See, we could even just get half, two, and then put something in the middle. That look nice. And how they have the picture frame. 
I know, so that's why we have to measure it, see if it can even fit with our windows. This is cute, but I think these are too short. I don't know. Or maybe if it if it gets too close to the window, then we can get these smaller ones. Oh, but look how much this one is. Why? This is shorter. There's no way that this this combination. Oh, I think it's just all of them. The three is seven hundred dollars. <laughs> you like that? I mean, just because it's not. It's not, it's not all the way up to the window. But that's the point. Is that like if it's so short, you can't see it if behind the the dining table. That's why I like the higher one. Cause look, imagine this. This is our dining table, and then this is behind it. So it makes it look visually better than sitting short behind there. I like how that looks. So even if we have to get two of the other one and put a gap, that would be nice. I would fill up the the glass thing that one. The wall unit with these cheap <laughs> plates. 79 cents. It's cheaper than the Dollar Tree. The Dollar 25 cent store. Yo, these look so. This is good to buy and just throw on the floor. Like when you're angry. Like just get a couple of these. Like the destruction room. Finally, finally we made it to the frames. So I was picturing like this color. I think it'll be look, look really nice against the the white wall and I wanted to get like black and white pictures. I know we kind of had that in our old house, black and white pictures, but I think it'll be cute. $10? Well, yeah, the bigger ones are 10. I think these are nice to blend in. This is like almost the same color as the dining table and they're different than the black ones. I know you hated the black ones because they didn't like sit right on the wall. So we had black frames. So this one, no, they seem like they changed their frames. This one's a lot lighter. Well, we had some frames. Where is it? They were like thicker in our old house. I think it was this one. Yeah. It did not hang well. All right, we're leaving Ikea. I do have a question for you guys. Why do Ikea does Ikea shopping carts suck? Like, why do they keep moving everywhere? I feel like it's like worse than Walmart carts. They try, they make it that good on purpose so it can go. And like, I know it can go from every direction, but it's like very inconvenient. I feel like when you push it, it's like, it's gonna hit somebody. Oh my God. God, it's cold. <laughs> well, all we got is a picture frames and like a cutting board, but that has nothing to do with this video. We're gonna need to go to Home Goods or TJ Maxx to find like napkins and stuff because they don't <laughs> yo you are struggling <laughs> oh you got it control now <laughs> yo you're making all these noise you're gonna break the frame <laughs> yo these carts are stupid all right guys we're home it's a whole new day we're about to transform this room i took off our runner for now just to polish the table make it look all nice if you guys are new here and you haven't seen our dining room this table is from ashley's furniture it's a west elm dupe so i'll put a picture here absolutely love it solid wood beautiful nice and sturdy um we're about to start decorating the table and then we got our frames that we got from ikea right here and we also got some pictures from walgreens to put in those frames walgreens always has a coupon code so i got i think they were like 40 percent off so pretty good deal choose some pictures let me show you everything but we got before we decorate we also got this flatware oh my gosh so heavy from Amazon, I really wanted gold. Like, look how pretty this spoon is. Yes, I'm wearing my robe. It's cold in here. So, so we got these beautiful gold spoons. A very excellent quality. I was impressed for Amazon. And I forgot how much these were, but everything that I'm talking about, I will link it down below. So, look how nice that is. So it came with like the spoons, butter knife, forks, all that. And it was a really good deal. Oh shoot. So I came with like all this, so we gotta undo that. 
we have our black dishes we got this before we even moved here we got these at big lots um they were twenty dollars for 20 pieces which i think is a good deal and they're matte black so love that look we got two boxes although we're just setting up for six this table fits six and then we got this picture from ross it was only like twelve dollars I want to put it right here in between these two windows. I think that'll look cute and it has the same color scheme we're going for. Probably this one's a little bit lighter, but that's all right. It's gonna be on the wall anyway. Tried to go to TJ Maxx and Ross for napkins, but they did not have any napkins at all. So we found these at Target. It's the Magnolia line. So four napkins in each, so that's about two which is annoying but whatever so we got these i don't know if this pattern is going to clash with our runner since it is striped too so we're gonna see how everything goes we got these napkin holders from amazon i'll link that down below too and i thought this was nice and cute to you know to start the trend i don't know what the hell i'm talking about these that that fly has been bothering me for like ever like it's been there for a long time. I was gonna tell you to bring the duster to like what well, smell pretty strong. They smell like a basket, but that might be my pregnancy nose. I really like these online because it continues the the feel like our living room. We have like the basket chair and a lot of like, you know, the basket to hold our blankets and stuff like that. So I thought that would be cool to add it in here. But now that I'm looking at it, I don't know if I'm going to like it with these napkins. I mean, I bought the napkin holders before and I was hoping to just cruise. <laughs> Shh, you. I was hoping to just get plain like cream napkins. I thought it would be easy to find at Ross or TJ Maxx, but clearly they had nothing there. So I picked these up afterwards. But I don't know how I feel about that. I think that's going to be clashing. So I don't know. Like I said, things like this take time. So we're going to put it all together and see how we feel. Yeah, we'll go from there. What's it gonna be? I'm upset. I mean, these are still really nice plates. Like, they even came with these cute little bowls. Like, they're so cute. But, I don't know, man. If all these four were good, they were good. But you only needed six. So, you needed four for four. I say, one gonna be broke. We need a six, got six.
guys, here is the final reveal. Well, not really final. This is a step forward. So we have our beautiful dining sets, our dishware. So decided to just put the black plate with the napkin and small plate and then some of the utensils. Absolutely love these utensils. Like. I just love them. We have some left over, obviously, and we'll probably just use them. I will link all that down below. I have a feeling that these napkins will kind of clash with this since, you know, stripe and stripe, but I think separating with the black plate makes it okay for now. As far as the napkin holders, we're gonna wait for that. Obviously, we are going to change it up for the different seasons and holidays and stuff like that. So for the napkin holder, we're just going to, you know, be on the hunt for plain like beige napkins and then we can use the napkin holder and switch this all up. You know, maybe take off the runner and get placemats, you know? So just to change it up, but this is how it is for now. And then as for our centerpiece, we have fresh flowers that Darius got me and Kenzie for Valentine's Day. So I put it in this cute picture we already had. And just to make it all cute, try to rearrange arrangements. I'm not a professional, but I think it came out pretty cute. So this is definitely a start. And then over here, we have the family picture that we got from Ross. I think it's cute, it's perfect, you know, nothing too crazy. I don't want, I want to keep it simple. So I think that putting that right there is good enough for now. And then our beautiful gallery wall, absolutely love it. I was scared that it was gonna clash because of, you know, the brown wood with the brown floors. But I really like it. I, you know, it's like, man, I really should've just got plain black, but I really feel like everyone always does black, and I'm like, let me just get the brown, and I'm so happy we did, because I think it looks really, really good. Although it matches, I feel like I'm, you know, eventually we're gonna get a rug to put under here to break up all the wood pieces. So once we put a rug down, I don't know what color, maybe give us some suggestions, so, Comment down below what color rug we should put under here. I guess cream or, I don't know, cream or black, something within the family. I want to just break up all the wood and I feel like that will, you know, make it all flow together. But as for the gallery wall, like I said, I got these pictures printed at Walgreens. Um, and then I just got these design ones from Etsy. So I'll link that down below too. It was a really good deal. I think it was only like five or $10 for like a group of like 50 or more different art pieces. And it was like, they have like cute black art. It's a lot of cute ones. So I just wanted something, you know, something abstract. So I chose that one and that one. And I think it blends it all together with the browns and the blacks that are inside the pictures. And then of course we have this huge empty wall that we need to fill. So like I said, it's just a start. We are definitely getting that Hemnes um, glass, what, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> okay, um, we're definitely getting the Ikea Hemnes, you know, the thing that I showed earlier in the video with the glass to put the dishes and stuff like that. I don't know why I can't think what it's even called, wall unit, I don't know but definitely want to get it so we did measure it at ikea and then we measured it at home because remember i was talking about maybe to get three of them so it's going to be way too tall because of these small windows so it's going to be higher than that so our plan is to just get one put it in the middle and then i want to get like two other ones don't know yet to put next to it and i definitely want to get rid of this corner shelf just because like we had it in our old house and I don't know, I just, I'm just not in love with it anymore. So we're just gonna keep it here for now until we get the big, you know, wall unit from Ikea and have this eventually empty. I think it's, you know, once you walk into the door, our dining room is to the left. So the first thing you see are these pictures. So I'm like, oh wow, you actually decorated. And I was always nervous about, you know, putting holes in the wall, but we did it. And I did this 
I bold. <laughs> yeah, she <laughs> I bold it. So this is it looks good. I think it's good. One is a little bit higher, but you know, that's good for eyeball. I know people do the most. People do like they cut out paper and put it where it's just that's just too much. So we made we made a couple of holes. <laughs> <laughs> behind it to make it even but it's good like I said you first come in you see this wall and then your eye automatically turns to this section is really empty there so once we get that you know we'll keep you guys updated but everything is coming together all right guys so that is the end for this video comment down below what's your favorite part what's your favorite piece of our dining room can't wait to continue this journey with you guys as we continue to decorate this house make it a home we also made some fun reels of this transformation so make sure you follow our, our home instagram page at home.sweet.james like i said i will link everything down below as much as i can next video not sure but i really want to tackle our mudroom area the four year four year foyer area we'll talk about that in the next video so we might do that or we might tackle our half bathroom not sure yet but a lot of fun home decor videos are coming up oh my god I just noticed <sighs> I have a pen in there the kids were fighting over this so I was just like I'm taking it and I just shoved it in there Anyways, give this video a thumbs up, follow on Instagram, make sure you guys subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.